Hi, it's John here from GPS Tree. In this short video, I'm going to show you the new grid reference finder we've created for UK users on the GPS training website. So without further ado, let's dive in there and have a look at it. So to access the new um, grid reference finder, if you just go to our website, which is gpstraining.co.uk, and click on more at the top and you see a drop down menu appears which says a grid reference finder. You just click on that and it takes you to the new GPS training UK grid reference finder. So there's a number of things that you can do here. So again, there's a drop down menu and you can input uh, various uh, different data. So I'm gonna first of all, just put in a postcode and show you how that works. So I'm just putting the postcode of GPS training here and you literally press find. And what it does is you see it senses the map on the location. Again, you can zoom in for more information. And what it does is it converts it both to lat and long. Um, of course, British National Grid, the 10 figure grid reference. Um, there's a postcode, which you know we put in. It gives you the location and down the bottom, we've got what three words. So that's one way of using it. So you can put in a postcode and it would give you a grid reference we could then put into your GPS unit. So quite handy, start of a walk, you can put in your grid reference and then you can have that on your GPS unit. The other thing you can do is you could put in a grid reference and reconvert it all to all the other, you know, to your postcode, what three words, etc. What we're going to look at is location. So we say, right, okay, we're going to go and do for a walk at Berwick upon Tweed. Just search for Berwick upon Tweed. And what it does is center the map on Berwick upon Tweed with all the relevant coordinates down there. Now, what you can do is say, well, I'm not going to start my walk from there. I'm going to come around and I'm going to start, say, somewhere here, like Horse Spittal. Just click on the map and it centers the map on that location, which is Spittle. And what it does, it gives you the grid reference of that location. It also gives you uh, the postcode of that location. But because there's a car park in the middle of nowhere, we've not got a postcode. So what you can do is just click where there's some houses, which is a little bit further down that road, and we suddenly get a postcode, don't we? So again, if we were gonna start our walk at this car park, which we can see here, we would have to move to a bit of urban conurbation just to get that postcode. But again, if we click there, we're gonna get the exact grid reference, exact last long, exact what three words, if you utilize that, we wouldn't get a postcode. So you can see there, how easy it is by clicking on the map, it will give you the postcode, what three words, lat and long forever, wherever you click on the map and you can search for the location there. You can also put in your grid reference and it will convert it to the other coordinates. You can put Eastings and North, you can put your lat and long, you can even put your what three words in uh, if that you get on a guidebook or, or something along those lines, you can pop that in there. So it's free uh, to everybody. Um, so I very much hope you enjoy it. It's um, only available as you appreciate it for UK users. So again, utilize with its full potential. And no one courses when we're looking at downloading GPX files and importing them onto GPS units. Often the question is, well, how do I know where the starting point is? And this is a free tool for you to pop in grid references to, to search um, um, the relevant location and find the postcode. So you can pop that into your car and easy navigate to the starting point. So I very much hope this has helped. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. And as always, from all the team here at GPS Training, many thanks for your continued support. It's very much appreciated.